to say it's a successful year because I don't play for anything besides winning championships at this point in my career. And um, you know, I don't, I don't, really, I don't get a kick out of making a conference appearance. I've done it a lot, and, <laughs> and it's not fun to me to not be able to be able to be a part of, uh, you know, getting to the finals, but. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens going forward. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I got a lot to think about, to be honest. All right. Conference appearances are cute and all. All right. Dave McMenamin getting the scoop. So here's the deal. McMenamin caught up with LeBron on his way to clarify his thought process going into the offseason. Dave asked, when you say you got to think about stuff, what thread should we be pulling on that? LeBron said, if I want to continue to play, Dave went on to ask, as in next year, with LeBron responding, yeah. And when Dave asked LeBron, you would walk away, he simply said, I got to think about it. Why? Why? Man, you know, this is hard for fans to see uh, some of our favorite players hanging up their jersey, especially when they got so much in the tank left. Like LeBron did. LeBron put up 40 in this in this game. You know what I'm saying? Where AD didn't show up as, as strongly as he should have. And in, in the fourth quarter, he had probably 10, 11 points. But then he ended up with like 20 and some change or something like that. But granted, AD showed up in plenty of other games before. Like in, in the playoffs, LeBron was the oftentimes scoring 20 to 25. And then you had that stint where AD showed up while LeBron was injured and was balling out of control. So, no, it is what it is. But it's just hard to watch our favorite players. Hang him up. Now, will he actually hang him up? I don't know. But I do know it is mentally taxing on a person to go through this year after year after year, especially at the height and the, and the length that LeBron has been going at it. And I still want to see him to make it to play with his son. His son just signed on that U, U, uh, USC and he's going to probably be one and done there and then come to the league. But I think it, I think LeBron thinking about it like, man, I, I don't know if I can make it to them because I know he can, but he's, I think he's reevaluating if he wants to. And then he asked if his son even wants that. He posed that question a little while ago. So I think that also is weighing into the situation. And then it's just like, the struggle that has been for the Lakers all this year, even though they started off post supposed to people expected more of the Lakers and they they looked bad most of the year and they picked it up at the end and surprisingly made the playoffs. Surprisingly beat Memphis. Surprisingly beat Golden State. I mean whoopings they was putting on people. And and it was looking like, oh, oh, oh. And then you get smashed by the by the Nuggets. And I said they was going to lose to the Nuggets. I said they was likely to lose to the Nuggets. The Nuggets looked very scary to me with Jokic and Murray. And it just seemed like a very powerful offense. And, and Brian tipped his hat to them because they got depth. They got shooting. They got – they just powerful this year. They powerful this year. <clears throat> and – um so it was, it was, it is, even though I expected them to lose to, to the Nuggets, it, it just, you didn't want to see it happen, especially in this fashion. You like, you wanted to see the Lakers fight and, and battle. And mentally, that got to be a lot on you, man. When you I think Brown is 38, it got to be a lot on you, bro, to get that far. Invest that much energy into your time and your in your craft, and then I'm 41, so I know what it start. I know what it feel like to start feeling them aches and pains that you ain't never felt before. Pain in your back. Boy, one day I had a pain in my back out of nowhere. Walk down the stairs, almost I almost rolled down the stairs off of it. I don't know what it was. Then my knee, I, I had a major injury to my leg, shattered my leg at one point a couple years back. So you got complications of that just acting like it want to act when it want to act, however it want to do. Like one day my knee just be like, no, we ain't doing it today. <laughs> I don't know what you had planned for this day, but we ain't. it ain't happening today. You better go sit down and put some ice yacht on your knee or something. 
because I'm not doing it today. I don't know what to tell you. You better switch knees. You better get the other knees to come over here and do some overtime or something because I'm not doing it. So I know what them <clears throat> certain injuries and trying to rehab and, and, just, and just being 40 can feel like. So going through that at the highest level and starting to go through the, the psyche of, man, do I want to do this again? Do I want to put my body through this again? Do I don't want to work this hard and push through it again? And I think he will hang around till his son makes it to the NBA. I hope he does. We we all still want to see him play. I know it's a lot of Brian haters out there, but you know, I definitely still want to see him play. But it's just you gotta wonder how 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 is it gonna pan out and what are they gonna move around to make it feel like we we trying to actually win a championship and not just play. And they made some great moves this year that I think factored them into being able to go this far in the playoffs because I didn't think much of the moves. I thought um, when they moved Russ, it was like, uh, I didn't think they got enough in return, but I was, I think I was uh, mistaken on that for sure. And, you know, that is part of it. I think that was part of the reason that Tom Brady retired. He's been hinting at a comeback lately, too. He didn't say he wasn't coming back, but, he, was, you know, they was talking about the Dolphins. Oh, you got friends in the Dolphins. You know, see you in Miami a lot. And he didn't say he wasn't trying to come back, you know. So when you got that itch to play like that, that competitive edge, and you love the ball, it's, it's hard to turn that off. You know what I'm saying? Especially with Tom's case, it was more so, I think, hey, his marriage – fell apart due to him still wanting to play. I think he still wanted to play, but I think it was part of the fact that what type of team are they going to be able to put around them because so many pieces of the team were falling off. And now you're just going to look bad playing your last years. And who wants to do that? Or then who wants to jump to another team and what they're going to put around you over there? You know, so it came a cap issue and what what's able to be done to play up to the level of the legacy that you want to play. And LeBron is that type of dude. He don't want to play for no conference finals, as he said here. He's been there and done that too many times. So he's trying to play for championships and championships only. Like he still wants to catch Jordan, you know. But I don't think he's going to catch Jordan. I said that a while ago too, but – um and that's another another thing for the GOAT conversation, too. I, I still think Jordan is, is, is the GOAT to me, but LeBron is right up there. You know, them like my three, LeBron, I mean, Kobe, I mean, uh, Jordan. I used to say Kobe. I mean, I used to say Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. But then sometimes me and my cousin, Pac Savvy, we, we go back and forth because he be hitting me with them LeBron stats, you know what I'm saying, and make me be like, I don't know, is LeBron higher than Kobe? He might. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> whatever your debate is, or whoever you put, wherever, they was all great and uh, tough to watch LeBron thinking about retiring, even though I think he's going to come back. But I just hope the Lakers got something up their sleeve to make him coming back this year that much more enticing because he already thinking about hanging him up and not following through on, on the second part of this contract. But I think he's just on the horizon. I think he needs some time to just kick his feet up, let them bunions heal, you know what I'm saying, and, and just spend some time grabbing on his wife's booty and going home and, and just recharging the battery. The, the, <clears throat> the family, you know, being away from your family can be, you know, need to recharge the battery, think about some things, and line it up, get it in perspective. And I think he will continue to have that itch to at least play until his son makes it to the league. But I will say this. If it becomes apparent that his son, that that ain't what his son want to do, or if that's what's bugging him, like his son ain't made it clear that he wants to play with his dad for a year, then I don't know. He might just be like, what's, I mean, what I'm doing it for? I didn't play 20 seasons. Broke all the records. What are, what are we doing? 
if we ain't about to go get a championship right now, what are we doing? I might well hang it up. You know, so that plays a part too, whether his son really wants to play with him or not. But I think they both would get a kick out of playing with each other. It would be great to see. But I think also LeBron doesn't want it to be, LeBron or Bronny doesn't want it to be just a sad season ending like, oh, I played with my dad, but we our team was trash. No. I think when they go out, if they're going to play together and go out, then somebody's going to have to put together a package to get them on the team and put some real pieces around them so they can make a run for it. But this is your boy, P. Kemp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think. Get at your boy.